Archaeotherium, an extinct family of entelodonts, sometimes nicknamed hell pigs or terminator pigs, pig-like omnivores of the forests and plains of North America and Eurasia from the late Eocene to the middle Miocene epochs, spanning 37 to 16 million years ago, existing for about 21 million years. Archaeotherium was about three feet tall at the shoulder and around six foot long. Archaeotherium is believed to have weighed up to 660 pounds. There is no sign of sexual dimorphism in the canine teeth. Females and males may have been similar in size. In life, Archaeotherium probably somewhat resembled a cow-sized peccary with a longer face, with wide cheekbones and round bony projections on the face similar to male warthogs, but without a pig-like nasal disc. It lived in forested and riverbank environments before the evolution of grasslands. Like all entelodonts, it supported its weight on cloven hooves. The foot bones remained unfused and the toes could spread as camel feet do. This structure, unique to entelodonts, may have helped the living animal move on soft ground. The high spines on the vertebra above the shoulders supported strong neck muscles and tendons to handle the weight of the head. The brain was tiny but had relatively large olfactory lobes, suggesting that the animal had a keen sense of smell. The largest species, Archaeotherium martoni, seen here, was an omnivore with specializations for biting and chewing objects such as hard fruits, stems, and bones. The teeth and jaws resemble no living animal. The canines, premolars, and molars were all large and heavily enameled. The jaws were enormously strong and operated largely by chopping, though they could move laterally enough for the flat molars to grind. Archaeotherium easily could have killed and crunched up small animals as modern pigs and peccaries do. Fossil evidence suggests that in North America they hunted the extinct camel Pobrotherium, severing the camel's body, preferring the rear section of the animal. A fossilized food cache was found with the front portions of Pobrotherium carcasses, buried by an Archaeotherium for a future time when prey was possibly scarce. Tooth wear patterns suggest the interlocking front teeth of Archaeotherium martoni were frequently used to strip leaves from plants, but do not show soil scratches from rooting in the ground. Archaeotherium, like warthogs and peccaries, may have been a similarly aggressive mixed feeder. It was able to take animals considerably smaller than itself, scavenge on carcasses, and exploit plant foods few other animals can process. Adult Archaeotheriums had huge temporalis muscles, but they were normal sized and juveniles and only developed as the animal matured. This suggests that the expanding cheekbones and extreme jaw strength of the genus may have been involved in adult social behavior more than eating. It is possible that the younger Archaeotherium had softer diets and had significant parental care. The jaws had an unusually wide gape. Adult entelodonts may have had aggressive jaw gaping displays and biting fights like living hippos, which have the same adaptation. Its gape was used to grab and position large hard food objects like bones or nuts between the jaws to be cracked by the rear teeth as in pigs and peccaries.